All right, welcome to Talking Shop. Uh, we are looking at the text for Reformation Sunday. Happy Reformation Day. So if you are not following uh, the lecture that we are, you might be looking at um, Zacchaeus, the wee yeah. little man. So we're sorry we're not looking at that text today. Uh, but even if you're not observing Reformation Day, you might want to preach this text anyway. Mm-hmm. It's a powerful one, short, uh, but full of great stuff. It's mm-hmm. John chapter 8. 31 through 36. Uh, this is about freedom from bondage. And it, the source from that is in one place and one place alone. Uh, and so it is a, it's, man, it's a reminder we need all the time. It's a challenge for us as preachers to do this work. Uh, so join in the conversation. Leave any comments below as we go through. And uh, let's get after it. Spit out my Lord in every way Yet I'm still welcome in the yard All right, John chapter 8, 31 through 36. 36, that's right, okay. Um, so Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, Who are those and why are they all of a sudden believing in him? Because he said some things. <laughs> That's Therefore, right. Yeah. yeah. He spoke about being the light of the world, right? Um, uh, where I'm going, you cannot come, right? He goes through all that. Uh, I'm going away, but I'm going to come back. I think it's all that stuff, mm-hmm. right? Uh, throughout chapter 8. And uh, as he was saying these things, many believed in him. They heard his word. They believed in him. This is how... Faith works, right? Faith comes by hearing. And so he says to those who had believed in him, what? Hold on now. It's like, devote yourself steadfastly. Kind of see that coming up later in Acts. But if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Okay. Yeah. If you hold to my teaching, if you abide, if you remain. You remain, you, yeah, it's uh, a minnow. If you, if you are um, taking up residence in my word. Yeah, big, big <laughs> word in John's gospel. Remain. To remain. Right? Yeah. yeah, John 15. Yeah, you get all of those uh, there. So uh, big big word in John's gospel. So, word. so to be his disciple, to be really be his disciple, to truly be his disciple mm-hmm. is to be in his word. In Amen. His word. That's a good so, reformation day. Uh, yeah, it's a big Reminded. reason why this text is going to be read right yeah. on this Sunday. Um and what happens if you abide in the word? What is the the fallout of that, if you will? Good one. Yeah. Go ahead, Matt. You know the truth. You will know the truth. Yeah. And that truth, the truth, will release you, set you free. All right. So um, the word is a source of truth, of knowing the truth. Mm-hmm. And knowing the truth is the the means towards freedom. Yeah, I might another, say. Big, another big word in John's gospel. You yeah. get them all here in John 8, truth. Because um, Jesus will later on in the what we know as the high priestly prayer right, say, John your 17. word is truth, right? Yeah. Sanctify them in your truth. Your word is truth. Right. So this is all looking ahead to that time with his disciples, with those who are truly yeah, his disciples. Yeah, great. And the great. law came through Moses, but grace and truth come through Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Come through Jesus Christ. Um, so you'll know the truth. So this make some uh, assumptions, and this is what they hear, his hearers kind of buckle at, I think, mm-hmm. is the assumption then is you are not free. You are not free. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, which, again, why this is a great text for yeah. Reformation Day. Um, uh, you are not free. And that's exactly what they get upset about, right? Mm-hmm. They answer, and they say what? We are Abraham's descendants and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we should be set free? And most of us hear that and we go, well, that's not yeah, exactly not right. Right? I mean, <laughs> and again, you can go through the list, right? They're currently under Roman occupation. They had mm-hmm. to do the uh, uh, the the Maccabees overthrew the Greeks because the Greeks were uh, were leading them. They were Seven in Babylonian in exile Babylon. in yeah. in Babylon. Uh, uh, before that, they were constantly under threat of Assyria. They were. In the house of slavery in Egypt, even according to yeah, God's yes. word, right? Yeah. Uh, when God gives them the uh, the ten words and 
in Exodus chapter 20. He starts with, I am the Lord your God who has brought you out of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. That's right. And uh, interestingly, Jesus brings none of all that up. Yeah, yeah. That's not the one he goes to. Yeah. So the question then becomes, right, how can they even say that word? Are they so stupid about yeah. their history? Because I think it's the, not, it's the first go to you hear this. You're like, oh, that. come on. Yeah. Yeah. They should know right. clearly yeah. because the history of their peculiar calling as yeah. God's people is one of right. being brought out of slavery right. and, yeah. and those right. kind of things, right? right? It's, yeah. it's a major part of their identity. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. So, so we were talking about this before. You had some kind of thoughts on what, what they're kind of possibly what they're getting at. Yeah, if, if somebody else has come up with something great, um, it's the best that I can do <laughs> with how you can how you can even say a statement like that. It, and that is that in spite of all of those enslavements, if you will, okay. they have always been the offspring of Abraham. Yes. So even in Babylon, they weren't Babylonian. They were the offspring of Abraham. Yes. Uh, in Egypt, they were actually separated from Egypt, and the reason Egypt enslaved them or put them under heavy bondage, uh, it doesn't even really say they enslaved them, it's God who says that, um, you know, they were separate, they maintained their own culture. They Still have always, circumcised. Yeah, they've always been known as the children of and, Abraham. And so in, in, um, in our Lord's Day, they're under Roman rule, yeah. obviously, mm -hmm. they don't have that autonomy, yeah. but they do have autonomy with regard to their practice of their faith yeah. and those sorts of things, right. the festivals still yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a good, like, because I think this still gets to the heart of I think what our Lord is challenging them on, yeah. because mm -hmm. it sounds like they you can make a good case. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we've that stuff. Yeah, but the the real stuff, the the, the spiritual things. Mm -hmm. No, we've right. never been a slave to everyone. We right, we are, and and that's exactly what it goes to. Yeah. So he doesn't give them this out to say, oh no, oh no, you you've done it right. Yeah. No no no, you've yeah. You've you've found bondage even in that yeah. faith. Well, because yeah. again, even even as they have not been Egyptian, even as they have not been Babylonian, even as they have not been Canaanite, even as they have not been Roman, they have taken on all of those things. Sure, they yeah. have they have willingly, if you will, taken on all of those things. I mean, the golden calf is a direct right. response to them being right. in. And there, when they come into to Cana, they they take on the idolatry of the of the Baals yeah. and the Asherah poles. And if you take a cross um, section of humanity, the Jews have something in common with all of them. Right. And that's what it gets to next. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Hmm. Yeah. So he cuts to this underlying thing, and so I, I think preaching it, it could be a good way. You can maybe you could maybe do some of that. Like, mm. how would they justify this statement? Like, how do they justify themselves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then go to, like, your own people, like, and how do you justify you yourself? Go. I've always been a Christian. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've yeah. always been a child of God. Yeah, I've right? done these things. Like, whatever. Like, there's some way in which you think um, you can justify yourself. Fourth by, generation yeah. Lutheran. Yeah, mm, right. There, there you go. go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Jesus says, truly, truly, I say to you, Everyone who commits a sin is a slave, slave to sin. Shock, right? Yeah. Uh, so that this is the slaver he's getting at. It's not now foreign occupied right. o being occupied by somebody else. It's not um, bondage in that regard. It is, you know, it's it's what Luther speaks about in in the bondage of the will or bound choice that that you you're bound to sin. This is what you yeah. What your this is your bondage, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the and part of the problem is you've gone around thinking you're free, yeah, yeah. And he's come to say not so fast. Right? Right. <laughs> Paul's realization Absolutely. in Romans seven, yes, right. The things that yeah. I that I would not, I do, yeah, yeah. do not do. Right. Yeah. Wretched man that I am, who will save me right. from this? Uh, body I think he even sin, says yeah. bondage, right? Doesn't it? Uh, or body, I think. Body of yeah. sin. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> And then he asks it, a slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever, right? So now he's separating him, his position as 
the son, right, uh, who who can remain in the house of his father for yeah. all the time. Well, and, and a slave and who does not. Going back to them, right? We are. They, they don't use sons of Abraham, but you can uh, sure. equate that, yeah. right? We are sons of Abraham. We've never been enslaved to anyone. He goes, Oh no, no, no! You're not a, you're not a son you're of not Abraham. A son. Yeah. And and if you're careful, you're not going to be in the house anymore, right? <laughs> I like that. Uh, you're not a, as yeah. in nada. <laughs> nothing apart from Christ. So, uh, so yeah. However, he is the and and what it, which uh, which epistle is this where where Paul talks about he doesn't say seeds of Abraham he says seed singular yeah, right. yeah, yeah. speaking of the yeah, Christ yeah. so yeah. he truly is the, the seed, seed of, of Abraham, Abraham You're talking yeah. right yeah yeah, um, yeah that's so. great one to bring in uh, so the sun sets you free you'll be free to so your key to freedom then is, is nothing in in you uh, in your in your heritage, lineage, those kind right. of things. It, it's not even in this regard, um, in the sort of the, the practice, the work yeah. of, of worship and those right. lives, the traditions, right. right? It is going all the way back up, abiding in his word. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it goes. Freedom comes from the sun. Only the yeah. sun can do this. Um, the word and, incarnate. And that, and you receive that by receiving his word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is going to lay a heavy one down a few chapters later, John 14. I am the way, the yeah. truth, and life. No one gets to the Father but by me. Right. So he's leading up to that already here. Yeah, you get Christ or nothing. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's Christ or bondage. Period. And there's always mm -hmm. the two sides of the good news. You know, there's the implicit bad news. Uh, good news. Jesus died to save you from all your sins. Sins? I mean, be cool to have Jesus as like an older brother guide, but you're saying I, I'm a sin? Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying you're in bondage to sin. Yeah, yeah. Anybody mm -hmm. who sins is a slave to sin. Yeah. It's like, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You are part of the house, but you're, uh, yeah, the, the, the house decides what it can do to you. And in this case, we have the mercy of God, who the son says, mm -hmm. remaining Jeez. in me sets you free. It's that bad news so. edge of the, the sword. There's yeah. the good news and the bad news. Yeah. So if you're preaching, if you're preaching this text, especially on a Reformation Sunday, where you're kind of, you can kind of imagine that you're you're singing, uh, you know, a mighty fortress, uh, yeah. maybe thy strong word, something like that. Some of these uh, big church militant kind of hymns. Yeah. Um, uh, you get you get kind of a sense of recapture some of that militant spirit of yeah. the church, if you will. Right. Um, you know, what are you focusing on, like, going to the text like this? I mean, the text is short and sweet, and I, fairly clear. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, outside of that one little wondering about how do they say they're not slaves, but um, where do you kind of, where would you kind of hang your hat if you're preaching this text? Well, kind of in the historical context of the Reformation, um, the Church of Luther's Day, for example, um, not Luther, mind you, but the Church of Luther's Day would have liked to have heard Jesus say, if you stay or cling to my church, you are my disciples, mm, truly. Sure. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, Luther figured out early on, no, it's the Word. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Word takes preeminence. Uh, all the scriptures testify of Christ. We're born of that seed of the Word, Peter says. Um, so it's the Word that gives birth to the church, not the other way around. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that driving back to the Word, um, the necessity of that for our people even today that um, I think you can kind of do some of that. Don't think just because, you know, kind of that, yeah, I was born and raised in the church and I kind of, yeah. you know, I'm good. Like, you know, you need to abide here in yeah. this Word, in this yeah. living Word. That's yeah. the crucial thing. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 What else? You got anything there? Matt, you might... Well, this is this is paired with uh, the text from Romans three, right? Yeah. Which which I mean, almost says uh, a lot of the same things, sure. right? So it starts with now uh, we know that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law. Uh, then you get uh, verse uh, twenty three: for all have sinned and fall short of the mm -hmm. glory of God. So it's it's putting everybody in that, and I think I think maybe on a Reformation Sunday you focus back on the, you know. For instance, you know, we might argue, well, we've been faithful to Luther's teachings, right? And and therefore we're uh, right, the whole uh, we're, book of we're declaring <laughs> that church, right? We yeah. we believe that the Bible is the word of God. Um, 
But that is not what actually justifies us. Yeah. What justifies us is Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah. the Christ of Scripture. Um, you know, he has done that for us. Yeah. Yeah. And so some of those other things that we might even call good, we might they they might become those things that enslave us because yeah, we good. now trust Man, in yeah, yeah. we trust in our faith versus yeah. our trust being in <laughs> right. Uh, right. in in Christ. Yeah. So yeah, it's good. I, and I think yeah. like on a especially on a Sunday like this. I mean, I would say you know every Sunday you, you're ideally you're doing this, but you know that it, it is incumbent upon you as a preacher. Now's the time to set them free. Yeah, like yeah. do that work. Yeah, like declare them free. Yeah. Right, uh, because this Christ has done this right. stuff. Right, right, and so free even from these other things that are good, wonderful sure. things that can become a source of slavery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's this word that's outside of your control. This Christ that comes beyond you, that's setting yeah. you free right now. Yeah, who can right. do whatever he wants, yeah. and he chooses and he to chooses free. His. And it's yeah. an indispensable reminder because even at the beginning of this passage here to the Jews who had believed him. Yeah. So this message is to believers. Yeah. There's a rebuke in here. Yeah. And we need to hear, they need to hear it. We need to hear it today. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, because uh, so the, one of my soapboxes and all of that is uh, for my people, the uh, faith, have faith, trust, believe is all the same word. Yeah. And so we would say we trust in our faith. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. Our, we we, we <laughs> trust in, in our Christ. Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. right? Yeah. right. Um, so anyway, that's, that's right. Yeah. All right. Uh, good stuff there. Take a moment to like and subscribe. Check out craftofpreaching.com. There'll be some uh, resources there on this text and the other ones uh, for this Sunday. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, uh, give them the good news. Set them free. God bless your preaching.